What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it, everyone. And feel free to let me know what you are carrying today. So we have a knife coming in from Kaiser. So huge shout out to them for sending this guy along. And to be completely transparent, guys, I have had this out of the packaging already. I wish I could show you guys the retakes. They are hilarious, or they would be hilarious. So it does come with your typical paperwork, your microfiber cloth, stickers, extra hardware, the entire works that Kaiser always sends. So what we are looking at, guys, is a newer Sheepdog in its original form. This is the regular size here, but this guy is going to be coming with black aluminum handles. We have the crossbar lock from Kaiser, which is known as the clutch lock, perfectly centered up there. And wait till you guys see this blade. We have a two-tone finish on this guy. So we have what looks like some sort of gray DLC or gray PVD coating on the primary here. And then on the flats, we have a hand satin. Uh, it looks amazing, guys. Really, really good in person. The camera does it a little bit of justice, but uh, having this in hand, it is a spectacular looking knife. The contrast with the black aluminum handles and black hardware, black studs, and then you have this two-tone blade. It just really, really stands out. And this has quickly become my favorite sheepdog out of all the ones that I've handled at least. Uh, mixed with the aluminum, the crossbar lock, and then this two-tone finish, it has really worked its way up the line as far as the Sheepdog series is concerned. And I have quite a few clutch locks, guys, but there's nothing quite like uh, flicking this big old sheep's foot blade out of this handle. I mean, it just rockets out of there. And then, of course, the drop shut action on this guy is insane you got that little bit heavier of a blade and it just goes home nice and easy i'll give you guys a close-up look here at this blade and i absolutely love this i hope we start seeing more finishes like this on uh, various blades from various companies now we do have a cutout and we have a thumb stud there that thumb stud i believe will be removable so if you wanted you could take that guy out now for me personally i enjoy that stud being there for the thumb flick as far as the reverse flick goes though i'm going to use that hole so i like the ability to have the stud for the thumb and then the hole for the reverse flick. I think it's a perfect combination. Uh, as far as the fuller goes, you can use it uh, for the reverse flick. I don't know, you know, why you would, but you know, you can. Uh, you will have the issue of sometimes holding yourself on that crossbar lock. So that's something you'll have to keep in mind if you do use that fuller and get that low on the knife. But uh, still definitely doable. As far as the internals of this knife, we do have steel liners in there, uh, some very recessed and thin liners, and those are mainly going to be for that clutch lock to house that. We do have open construction. We have two standoffs there, pretty big standoffs. Uh, but this thing, it's, it's not a new knife, right? But it is a new variation of an already great knife. Uh, the Sheepdog, if you're looking for a user, something that's utility driven, right, and going to be very functional, this is a great candidate for that type of thing. Uh, any of the Sheepdogs, for that matter. Uh, any of the sizes, whatever you prefer, and any variation. Uh, now, the XL, of course, is going to be quite a bit more substantial uh, than the mini or the regular size one, but there's definitely a place for the XL, in my opinion. Uh, if you're somebody who deals with a lot of cardboard and stuff like that, or you are, you know, maybe you stock shelves or something like that, uh, definitely could see a huge, huge uh, candidacy for the XL. 
Uh, we do have the standard pocket clip here. It's going to carry nice and deep in the pocket. Good retention on that pocket clip. Uh, as far as the edge goes, why don't we go ahead and we'll take a look. So we'll go ahead and grab some magazine paper here and just see what kind of edge comes on this guy. And it has a beautiful edge, guys, on this thing. Nice and sharp right out of the box. Uh, but yeah, going back to the start of the video, if I had the ability to edit in all the times that I mess up at the beginning of videos, uh, I would have quite the montage for you guys. Some stuff is definitely not appropriate though, uh, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, you know, I'll have, it'll be perfect. I'll get the, the knife out of the packaging right, and then I screw up somewhere, and it's a screw up that I just don't want to let go it might be something small to many people but to me i think it's a big deal i try to keep these you know i shoot these all in one shot guys there's no editing there's no nothing like that so i shoot everything from the time you see me throw the box on the table until the end of the video those are all one shot uh so you have to be pretty much perfect or at least very close uh at least in my opinion you know to put out at least a decent video and there are times i screw up majorly at the beginning and it really irks my blood uh but you know that is life you know you just stumble on some words or say something incorrectly you know and that just really screws up the video but uh, getting back to the knife here, this is going to be your standard procedure for a sheepdog. It's going to be extremely comfortable in the standard grip. And then they have flattened this area out behind the blade, behind the edge. So you can get right up behind there for a nice controlled cut. You'll be able to get right up above that tip if you need to use that for more intricate or detailed type cut. Uh, just going to be a utility machine. And as far as the crossbar lock, the clutch lock, and its ability to stay locked up, well, why don't we go ahead and we'll put that guy to the test here. Uh, the clutch lock and most crossbar locks, guys, are solid. So you won't have a worry, and I don't think we'll have a worry here. We'll start up here and work our way back. We'll close it, reopen it. Closer to the tang. Solid, solid, solid. And then one more for good measure. Nice and solid. And then as far as play, guys, there's no up and down. And there's no side to side either. Uh, just they have continued to execute these crossbar locks extremely well. Uh, and they've gotten better and better and better over the last couple of months. It has been insane. Uh, to be a part of and witness how far they've come. You know, if you dive into all the intricacies of everything on every knife, every time, you get to see all the little details that start to kind of get worked out. And, you know, typically for a long time, there would always be a little bit of play. Washers or bearings for the people who, you know, think that it's just bearings. Knives can have play. It with bearings uh spoiler alert but uh whether it was bearings or washers there, we always had a little bit of play uh up and down or left and right and that wasn't necessarily a cause for concern uh and that's and it not necessarily was an issue either um but the way they've been able to tweak these and make it so that there's literally no play up and down, left or right, and then the ability to, you know, keep it so that way this knife, as soon as you disengage that crossbar lock, that bad boy is going home. Uh, you can tell, I showed this the other day with an Olatin, but you can kind of see some resistance right here. And then as soon as you pass that resistance, 
it sucks that blade in. And then the same in the reverse. There's a little bit of resistance getting it out of the handle, which is good. That's a satisfying open there. So, you know, you have that little bit of resistance getting it out. But then once you get it past there, uh, it is just ultra satisfying to open and close this knife. Uh, like I said before, guys, they're not... You know, they didn't reinvent anything here with the, the Sheepdog model, but the addition of the aluminum handle, the crossbar lock, the two-tone finish, uh, you know, the tweaking of the crossbar lock to just keep making it better and better. Uh, if you're looking for a lighter weight model than you know, thicker steel liners and micarta or G10. Uh, this is going to be, you know, it's still going to be a substantial knife in the pocket or in the hand, but it's going to be quite a bit lighter, you know, as it sits here than maybe the micarta and steel linered version because the aluminum is going to be a lot lighter and then the steel liners are going to be a lot thinner and they're going to be recessed within the aluminum. So it's going to be a very minimal design here. The only thing I could think that would make this knife extremely, extremely awesome, even more so than it already is, and you guys are going to know what I'm going to say probably. I would love if this had a full-length backspacer back here in addition to these aluminum handles. I think that would be so comfortable. And then if we added a row of jimping in here, uh, you know, whether it was to here or extended past here, but just something. Now, does it need it? No, not really. But it would just be another nice touch. Uh, but as it sits, this thing is phenomenal. I absolutely love the Sheepdog series. And... I think this is my favorite one uh, so far, just everything combined. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What do you think of the Sheepdog series? What do you think about Kaiser making button locks, frame locks, crossbar locks, liner locks out of the Sheepdog series? There's different sizes. They have a ton of different steels now at this point. Uh, they have really... Uh, kind of PM2 would this, if you will. Uh, you know, PM2, the paramilitary 2 from Spider Co., just has a ton of different variations, if you will, blade shapes, steel choices. Uh, they do a lot with it, right? And I think the Sheepdog is one of Kaiser's PM2s, sort of. Uh, they've just really done a lot with it. And I think for, you know, good measure and good reason, uh, because it's a fantastic pocket knife, it's going to do a lot very well. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this newer sheepdog here. Love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button before you head out. Greatly appreciate that as well. If you're new here, well, hit that subscribe button because we release two videos every single day, sometimes more. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I'll throw up a couple new videos. Go check one of them out, and I will catch you on the next one.